All right, guys. We're going to rapid fire this stuff. Obviously, there's little comments to make on each one, but we're going to keep it brief. NFL Divisional Champs, we're well, two weeks away? A week away? Week away. Right? From the championship? <laughs> from, from, <laughs> from opening kickoff. Right. We're there already? It's the, it's, it's the 11th, so it's, it's a week from uh, this Sunday. I'll never think. forget. I was, I was also confused. All right. Bro, it's disgusting. Like It's almost like the closer we get to football season, the further away we get from it. I know. I, I don't like this this week and a half gap that they got going on right now. Not yeah, cool. It's awful. All right. So, uh, CJ, give me your AFC, NFC champs, Super Bowl champ, sleeper team, your MVP, and your rookie of the year. Oh, man, you put me on the spot. So, AFC champs, I have the Buffalo Bills. My NFC champs, I have the Green Bay Packers, unfortunately. Uh, my champions, I have the Green Bay Packers. Uh, my sleeper pick is the Indianapolis Colts after adding Matt Ryan to that roster. Uh, my MVP pick is Jonathan Taylor. I think it's time. And then my rookie of the year pick is Sky Moore from the Chiefs. Love it. Damn. Brandon, hit us with it. Uh, AFC champs, I'm going to go with the uh Buffalo Bills, wanted to go with the Chiefs there. I got the Chargers and the Bills in the AFC title game. Reality to me is the Chargers, they look the part. They have the young gunslinger quarterback to go with it. Uh, we already know who the Bills are and what they're all about. On the NFC side, I've got the Bucks versus the Packers in the NFC title game. Uh, Packers defense has been the thing, uh, the narrative for them in camp and in the offseason. They've really built that up. The run game, they've got that. And then you got Tom Brady. I think Tom Brady and the Buccaneers, they're going to start a little slow this year, kind of rebound and go on a run. Packers uh, versus the uh, Bills in the Super Bowl. Packers are going to get it done. Aaron Rodgers is going to get it done. I think it's going to be on the backs of the run game and the defense. And then the MVP of the NFL, I feel like will be Tom Brady. I think it's setting itself up for the swan song season. I feel like this is it for Tom Brady. He's going to call it, call it a career after this. So he's going to get that MVP. My offense, my offensive rookie of the year, I got George Pickens. We all, all like know it. I'm obsessed with him. Steelers wide receiver from uh, Georgia. And then defensive rookie of the year, the obvious Aiden Hutchinson. Not right obvious. Nate. Not a homer. Give us your champions and all. the MVP and rookie of the year. Bills winning the AFC, the Bucks winning the NFC, the Bills winning the Super Bowl. I've got the Vikings as my sleeper pick. Woo! I've got Josh Allen as my MVP. I've got Kenneth Walker as my offensive rookie of the year. Definitely no bias in any of these picks. <laughs> I don't want I don't I want no one <laughs> yeah, to judge me on bias. And I'm I think defensive an rookie of the year. I've got Aiden Hutchinson. Michigan no bias. Man. All. all right. I'm hey. ready for the hate, y'all. AFC, I got the Chargers coming out the uh, the AFC. Can't even say what you chose. <laughs> AFC, I have the Chargers coming out. I see them beating the Bills in the championship. NFC, give me the repeat. Run it back. Rams, two for Rams, repeat. Because this is a dynasty. Let's keep it going. Dynasty. The Ravens are my sleeper. Because everybody's sleeping on, they restock the defense, the secondary is healthy. They got three legit starting safeties. They can run some scary stuff over there in Baltimore right now. Nice. My MVP, this is Josh Allen's swan song year. We'll touch on that later in the podcast. I think this is the year he gets it done. Rookie of the year, don't call me bias for Drake London. I see a lot of volume here. The Falcons have one of the worst defenses in the NFL. Kyle Pitts is going to be stretching those safeties deep, leaving the middle wide open from a boy from UFC. I think he's going to get 80 to 90 balls, right around 1,000 yards. Fingers crossed. I could see 10 touchdowns. We'll see. Defensive, jo defensive rookie of the year, Jordan Davis from the Eagles. He's the most physical specimen in this draft, and I think people are really sleeping on what it's going to be like playing next to Fletcher Cox for a young rookie with his skill set. I think they're absolutely going to destroy people up the middle. Nice. Thank you. Any thoughts on anybody's picks here? Uh, Nate, total homer. <laughs> oh, every single I, I pick. I don't, I don't Nate, think, I like I, I like your Viking sleeper pick. I've been starting to grow on that. I know you've been talking about it the last couple of weeks. Look, I just I just I, want to break down Nate's picks for the for the watchers. All right, so Buffalo is essentially his 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 second favorite team, third favorite team now. Uh, Buccaneers, everybody know Tom Brady's favorite player. 
the Vikings, he has a crush on Kirk Cousins. His MVP is Josh Allen. That's a side <laughs> check. That's a sneaky link. Kenneth Walker went to Michigan State, his favorite college football program. Aiden Hutchinson plays for his favorite NFL football team. 